I'll now show you how to make a choropleth map. So this is done on a map which has areas and if we click in a point in the area then it links with the data table. So each country has a link with the table. So to make the map we'll go to the display data wizard and go through the dialog boxes this time choosing area shading. There are a number of items which we can put on but I'll choose life expectancy. I don't need a label because that would just be too much for this map. And I'm going to choose how the data is divided up. Linear from zero means that it will be divided equally from zero to the maximum of the uh, item on the fields we've chosen. Linear in range means it will be equally divided between the maximum and the minimum. Equal content will put an equal number of countries in each class of data. Standard deviation uses standard deviation around the mean and you can also put your own choice in. But I'd rather start with something that the computer works out for me. Current search means that if we do a search then the maximum of the data item will be used at the top of the range for the uh, display. Right, there's four classes on the data and that's fine. I can change the colours if I wish. I can let the computer do it for me, so I'll choose a light colour for the lowest value and a darker colour of the range for the highest value and then press Auto Shade. That's the heading for the key, so that's fine. And when we finish, the map will be coloured in to show the data. I can put the key on, the data key, and organise that where I like. And we can work out individual countries easily by using the data balloon and then hovering over to see what the life expectancy is in each 